Hello everybody, I am back with another video. <laughs> um, Hello everybody, my name is the Valley Viking and I am back with another video. I am feeling a lot better today. I have a little bit of my voice back. I'm gonna talk for as long as I can, at least until my voice either gives out or whatever happens. I was playing Twitch yesterday and I was yelling at the TV um, during my Blitzball match, which if you haven't played Final Fantasy X, that is an annoying game. It's a mini game that's in there. Um, it's the first Blitzball match and I didn't want to lose. And I replayed it twice and I failed twice. So mad, so mad. But today is a new day. Or tonight is a new night. Um, I'm so happy that it, we're at 15 vlogs. That's halfway through a month. I couldn't. I can't believe that. I didn't think I was going to be able to do 15 vlogs in a row, even with yesterday when I just posted that small one. I'm excited about that. So thrilled to have done it this far. It's a hard commitment, um, but I'm happy too. So, from yesterday to today, um, yesterday I was sick. I was down the whole day, couldn't do anything. Um, not that I didn't want to do things. I, I still clean the house, but I wanted to get better from this quicker. So I just didn't do anything, except for that one walk, which it was really windy, and it might have made it worse. So, I don't know. Anyway, today I got to clean the house with my wife um we enjoyed our last day together before she goes back to work But I didn't go to sleep until like three or four last night, so I got to sleep. I got to sleep until seven, and then I had to wake wake up with the baby for a little bit. And then I went back to sleep and um, woke up at twelve thirty. So I got my full eight anyway. Pretty, I was pretty happy after that. Um, I my wife tried to braid my hair. But that didn't happen, so this is what she did. I thought that was pretty funny. Um, it was, I liked, I liked it. Now my hair looks like this so it's it's pretty all right <laughs> um and we had thrown together some spaghetti but it was more like um i don't know noodle noodle salad so yeah oh i did have coffee today which might have made it worse i don't know We'll see. I feel all right. So, um, I think my wife said she's getting more symptoms. She says she might have strep now. So, um, we don't know, uh, but we'll, we'll do what we got to do. I have my three questions. Um, my first question is, have you ever had anybody stop right in front of you now i i that's really annoying right when you're walking along and then somebody just kind of goes 
and then you bump into them or you don't have time to think about it or you trip over them or whatever that gets that gets annoying right okay now think of a child or a dog think think of, of something that's low to the ground right <clears throat> you either don't see them before you trip over them or you smash their hand or paw or and then it, you you feel instant regret and anger and just all these emotions just come into your head okay now that that may be one reaction but the second reaction is you do stop and your knees almost buckle and then you're like almost falling over on top of them um trying to save them at the same time right so that's what happened today with me and my daughter she just kept on walking in front of me trying to go different directions she would go to the right or go to the left or just kind of just did uh follow in whatever way i was going to go and then after going a short ways she decides you know what i'm gonna sit right here <laughs> and what do my knees do go backwards <laughs> oh man I was so scared when I was doing weights in college about doing heavy lifting and then like forcing my legs all the way up and then my, my legs popping like elbows going outside. I think I almost did that with my wife, or with, my, with my daughter. <laughs> Terrible. Worst feeling in the world. <laughs> so mad. <sighs> yeah. All right. Question number two. What are some meals or outlandish meals that you've made just because you didn't really have much around, right? Um, can, can you give me a description of one? So today we made spaghetti, right? That, that's what we started off with was angel hair. Um, and I thought we had like the sauce for it. But unfortunately, all we had was marinara. Um, not to say that it wouldn't have gone with it, but I didn't want to mess with marinara, right? Instead, we threw together a meal that had pesto and um, vegetables. So it was it was a spaghetti vegetable pesto <laughs> with olives. Um, and I think I oversalted it. So, um, to me, it got a little nasty three quarters of the way through. And then, like, I just couldn't finish, like, anymore. My daughter, however, just kept on munching on it. She loved it. So, um, but she, she loves noodles. So that's, that's good. <laughs> but, but what are some meals that you've done that are a little out there, um, that you thought would be pretty tasty. In an effort to make chicken noodle soup, I put some of the uh, sopa that you would get in the little bags. And <clears throat> I put in like eight cups of water and I threw in all kinds of vegetables and potatoes. Um, and I let all that cook for a long period of time. However, I seasoned it very underwhelmingly like it was very watery um that was probably the worst meal i think i've ever made and the corn that i threw in there after tasted old it's awful yeah <laughs> but we gotta learn from our mistakes all right my third and final question is have you ever sported a shirt that you didn't either know about, you didn't like, or that you were unfamiliar with, like where it belonged at all? Um, I bring this up because I have this, right? Now I know where it comes from. I have never played the game. Or if I have, it wasn't for very long. 
um, because the frame rate on my computer was never good enough to do. Um, or I have an anime shirt that I wore. <laughs> and um, people ask about the anime. And I think it's Tokyo Ghoul. I think it's Tokyo Ghoul. No, Psychic Mob 100. That's what it is. Um, and I never got into it. And I should have watched it. But it never. I never got around to it. I would have loved to get into it. But I didn't have time. Maybe I'll do that soon. Anyway, um, I bring this up because I remember going to the gym one time and I wore a Bob Marley shirt, right? I think I got that as a gift from my sister. <laughs> anyway, I wore that to the gym and a guy goes, oh, yeah. And I'm like, uh, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I never wore that shirt back out in public ever again. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, do you have any experiences with that? Um, let me know in the comments down below with any of those three questions. Now, I want to talk about four movies. Three from yesterday and one in particular today. So... I'm going to start off with the three from yesterday. Um, the first one is called The Devil Below. This was a great movie. Um, it was a surprising movie. It was a little creepy, I guess, more than anything. Um, <clears throat> it didn't have any like familiar faces in there. A lot of people that were in there, I think were brand new to film or maybe if they've been around they haven't been a lot of movies right this movie is about a geological expedition to find a sinkhole and in doing so they stumble upon something that's unnatural um and a lot of people they call this place hell's circle they find out what's in there and a whole bunch of chaos just goes. This movie had its moments. Um, it did have some jump scares. It had some lore that you could go into. Um, if you're into horror, I, I would recommend watching it. It is like a creature feature. Um, so... It's very interesting, but um, I would watch it if you don't have anything else to watch. Yeah. The second movie I want to talk about is called A Dangerous Sun. Um, this is a documentary. Um, very interesting documentary. Um, it, it talks about kids that suffer from like mental disorders, right? And they can't control their violent behaviors. And so they get like, they don't have a place in this world to, to just exist. Basically it's, it's, it's really a, a sad movie um, or documentary. It, it's, it's really, it's, it's a terrible truth, I guess you, you could say, because you see parents and you see people that like react to these angry kids and the kids can't control their tempers and, and they just lash out on whoever um, that's around. Parents or, or other kids or, um, and, and they have like, mental disorders and, and we don't have the institutions to take care of the kids um, that are suffering from from this this well, violence that's happening and then the kids like they grow up in this world of if they're not, they're not going to succeed and they're going to end up going to jail or um, 
become a murderer or something. It's, it's, it was a really sad documentary, a very sad truth. Um, it's definitely worth a watch to, you know, educate yourself on, on people around you, to, to try to understand the others that are around, right? To see what other people are going through. Um, so, um, I think it is worth watching. That was a really sad movie. Um, very sad documentary. I, I shouldn't say sad. It was very eye-opening. There we go. Um, makes you very aware. Uh, yeah. Alright. On to my third movie. The third movie that I want to talk about is called Killing Hasselhoff. Um, it features Ken Chang and Jim Jeffries and, of course, David Hasselhoff himself. Um, Ken Chang is the main and, uh, protagonist in this, this movie. He enters a death pool of... Okay, a death pool of, of David Hasselhoff, right? And a death pool is you putting in money on... You're, you're gambling money on somebody dying. And Ken Jang... Ken Chang joins this pool trying to win over half a million dollars that David Hasselhoff would die. Um, and unfortunately, David Hasselhoff does not die. So Ken Chang is stuck in a predicament where he either owes $500,000 or he kills David Hasselhoff. Um, it was a pretty funny movie. It's not the best movie, to be honest. If you have free time, it's, it's worth a watch. Um, I wouldn't put it on number one in my list. It, it does have some really good laughs in there, but not the best movie I've seen. However, the best movie I've seen in a long time is my fourth movie. Have you ever heard of The Tomorrow War? If you haven't, then let me tell you, that is a fantastic movie. And for those of you that have heard of it, or have seen it, you might agree that it's just as fantastic as you think it is. Um, it is a creature feature. It is a surprisingly, like, it was a brilliant piece put together um it features chris pratt and uh jk simmons and and they both do an excellent job in this movie oh my gosh the the alien that they have in there is just whew, they did such a good job on him um anyway let me tell you the description of the movie J.K. Simmons doesn't have, like, a major role in this movie, but he does play Chris Pratt's father, um, and he does a really good job of that, and just later in the movie, he does a fantastic job. But the main movie, of course, revolves around Chris Pratt, um, who plays the father of, in this family, um, and he's trying to get a job um, in a different city that pays more money. Unfortunately, he gets denied the job. Um, and in denying, in getting denied the job, he could get drafted in a world war. Um, this war has taken place 30 years into the future due to some aliens that have come in and started annihilating uh, human existence in general, just, just killing everything. These aliens are named White Claws, um, and <laughs> they did a fantastic job of creating 
such uh, an amazing creature. Um, I would just say you have to watch the movie. Or I guess I could post the picture like up here. Um, that is pretty cool right there. Um, that creature just wipes out like human existence. I shouldn't do that. Okay, uh, I'll cut that piece out. But anyway, let's... <clears throat> so Chris Pratt gets a, doesn't get his job. And of course he gets drafted and he has to fight in the war of the future, right? In, in the tomorrow war. Um, and in doing so, he meets another few individuals that are um, very interesting. And then he meets up with his, I don't want to go into too much detail, but he, he fights in this war and, and oh my gosh, it's such a good movie. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to stop there. <sighs> yeah. If, if I make, if I talk about it tomorrow more in the vlog, um, I'll do it there, but comment down below if you want to hear more, or if you have seen it, share your opinion on it, please. Wow. I do have one more thing that I want to show off, <clears throat> and this thing I have saved in particular for last. <laughs> so, uh, the day before yesterday, I put in an order, and surprisingly, my order came in very fast. Um, I didn't think it was going to come in this fast, but it made it and I am excited and just looking forward to hopefully eating something delicious. So without further ado, I bring you the Mr. Beast Feastables chocolate bars. Ooh boy. Um, <laughs> I am a big fan of Mr. Beast. I, I enjoy watching his content and and um, just seeing like a lot of the stuff that he does. Um, <laughs> he is a really great YouTuber, uh, but to do what he's doing, I, I I wouldn't even know where to begin. So that's that's awesome. Um, but anyway, I am ready to try out his bars. Let's pop these open. Now, I'm not gonna disclose anything on here, but they, the bars themselves, they have an opportunity to win um, a prize of some sort. Um, and he, he ends up like, he, he <clears throat> He has a prize on here that you could win, right? That's that's the whole perk of, of joining into this is, is that you could win something. But everybody says the bars are pretty good. So I am ready to try these. First is the, the quinoa crunch chocolate. Oh boy, I've been waiting to try these all day. Devour is what it says. Um, they have like a sample piece on top, but I grabbed it from the wrong side. All right, here we go. That's really tasty. No. These bars are only made, well, <clears throat> this one and another one are only made with five ingredients. And the other one, the last one, the original bar, is made out of four ingredients. So that's pretty crazy, right? Um, of course, the extra ingredient is, is the, because they're all made out of four um, ingredients, but they add like quinoa. And then this one is the almond bar. Um, 
share. The sharing size is small. <laughs> this is the part that you share. That's hilarious. That is pretty good. The quinoa has a darker flavor, but very, very tasty. They're both very tasty. Um, oh my gosh. I really like the packaging that they did on these two. Um, finally, the original. I'm wondering if it's gonna be just as dark um, as <laughs> <laughs> the quinoa but let's see bam man that crunch is really good These are really delicious. Um, the unfortunate thing is you can't buy them by themselves. They only come in a pack, a big pack. So <clears throat> that is a downside. Um, however, for the price that they are and the amount that you get for that, it's pretty um, understandable, like the price that they came out with. These are pretty tasty, um, and they're only made with four ingredients, not including the quinoa and the almond. Um, let me just tell you what those four ingredients are. King sugar, organic chocolate liquor, organic cocoa butter, and sunflower lectin. Delicious. Um, normally, I would eat the whole bar, um, but I'm, I, I'm not going to do that because, of course, either, not either, but of course I'm sick, one, and then two, that's just too much chocolate. Um, but I will be eating these over the, the time, but yeah, um, delicious. <laughs> anyway, we have come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for joining my community. Thank you for being here. Thank you for, for liking and commenting and subscribing and for just being a part of something with me. <laughs> it, it's been really fun. Um, Thank you for the uplifting comments that we got on Facebook. Um, so yeah. <laughs> I hope you all have a great night. And I'll see you in the next video tomorrow. Bye-bye. Like, comment, subscribe.